Hi, so in this chapter geometry, we're actually going to take measurement to one extra step. And so we're going to go ahead and discover some shapes, common shapes, and volume, area, perimeter, triangles, um, just different shapes, different types of um, geometrical concepts. Um, and again, remember the point of this class is to take things with you throughout your life. So, you know, you may not um, exactly need an acute angle, but you definitely need to know what it is because some of you are going into jobs and fields where those things are going to be a little important and it's great common knowledge. So these, this chapter is really going to be really applicable and something that you definitely will take with you throughout your life. So the first thing we need to start before we talk about any other shapes is um, our angles. So we're going to talk about basic geometric concepts and figures in this first section. And we start with angles. So here, um, the, we're going to start with the properties of angles. And so the first thing we need to see that we always start with like a line and a, this is a line. And when we put a little arrow on one end, then um, we call that a ray. So a ray is a line with an arrow, and the line itself is by itself um, without the arrow at the end. Now, when we put two rays together, like this, then we create an angle. So an angle is made up of two rays with a common endpoint. Where the rays meet is called the vertex. So here, and then it's called the vertex. Okay. So um, here are four common types of angle. One is acute, right, obtuse, and straight. So an acute angle is an angle that is between zero and 90 degrees. A right angle is what we, you know, we kind of always seen a right angle. It is exactly, it looks like an L shaped with a little um, denotion of a little square in the corner of the vertex and that denotes that it's right and it's 90 degrees. So obtuse is when it passes this right angle, but not exactly a straight line, right? So it's a wider angle. And it's somewhere between the right angle, 90 degrees, and 8, 180, the straight line. The straight angle is the 180 degrees. And that's just, yeah, a straight line, and we call it a line, and essentially it's just the opposite end of where you started. And these are the four basic angles that we're going to use in this um, chapter. So if we have obtuse, a straight, and some right, and acute, then we definitely have enough to make up a straight line. So notice if one angle is obtuse, if I drew a straight line, we see a smaller angle on this left side, which is an acute angle. Notice uh, two right angles make up this straight angle. And if one side is acute, in the straight line here, notice one angle here has to be obtuse. So this straight angle part is going to be essential when we get into supplementary and complementary angles and also triangles. So a complementary angle, see if I can fit it both, here we go. A complementary angle is if the sum of the two angles equals a right angle. So essentially, you're taking two acute angles and they, their sum should be 90 degrees. Supplementary angles are the straight lines um, that one will be obtuse and one will be acute or there will be several angles that will just all add up to be that straight line of 180. So complementary uh, angles add up to 90, supplementary angles add up to 180. 
So let's go ahead and look at a straight angle and, you know, let's look at an example. So there's a couple of things we want to just go over quickly. So the first thing is we see a bunch of like ray, we see rays, right? But we also see like these dots with letters. So let's just go over that for a second. In order to denote angles, we can't just leave it blank like this, right? We denote it like an angle A or an angle B. So notice that here, this little symbol equals angle, and it looks like an angle. But when one vertex shares the same letter or angle, so we call an angle B because maybe this is B and this is A, but when we share the vertex here, we have to kind of label them because we didn't label this angle or this angle. We labeled the vertex. So this first angle, A, B, D, is 136. So I would say angle A, B, D, which is this angle here. Okay, and then the measure of this angle is 136. So we label the angles as the angle symbol with the letters and the middle letter is the vertex. And if we want to denote a measure for that angle, we put a little M in front of it. And so we put, that's what I put here, the M means the measure of. So the measure of angle, the measure of angle ABD is 136. And notice the 136 is den um, units is up here as a superscript in degrees. The next piece would be um, this other angle over here, which is D, B, C. And so once again, notice that that vertex is, is shared, right? This vertex is B here in this first angle angle B here and also here. So they all share the same vertex. So we have to put those extra letters to know which direction we're going to go into. So this one is angle D, B, C. And what we want to find, want to find is the measure of angle D, B, C. Okay, well, we know something about a straight line. We know the straight line is 180 degrees, or in other words, we could see that these are supplementary angles and that the sum of the two angles should also be 180 degrees. So this is just a simple arithmetic. So we would have that measure A, B, D plus the measure angle uh, DBC has to equal 180 degrees. But the fact that we know the measure of angle ABD is 136 degrees, I, if I added that to the measure of the angle DBC, that would be 180. So notice that the measure of D, angle DBC is equal to 180 minus 36. So you could either do this mentally or just put it in the calculator. It's really up to you, but you'll get 44 degrees either way. So the way we look at this is we notice that we have a straight angle, which is means that it's 180 degrees or in other words, supplemental. And when two angles are supplemental, there are some of their, all the angles are, is 180. And so if we know one of them, like we did here, then we definitely could just subtract it from 180 and then get the final angle that's missing. So let's look at another um, type. Uh, we notice the complementary angles. We notice we have one right angle and we have two angles splitting up the right angle. So no matter what, we know that these are complementary and the sum of these two angles is 90 degrees. So notice that we still share that same vertex. So we do have to label them. We do see that the measure of RST is a right angle and we know that angle RSP is 67 degrees. 
So the measure of angle RSP is equal to 67 degrees. And we want to find the measure of angle PST. Now once again, we know it's a right angle, the sum of these angles, uh, the measure of RSP plus the measure of PST is equal to 90 degrees. And we do know that the measure of RSP is 67 degrees. So the, if I added that to angle PST, that should be 90 degrees. So if I just subtract 67 from 90, I should get the measure of angle PST, which is 23 degrees. And again, you can put it in the calculator or do it mentally. So I was able just to do it quickly in my head, but feel free to punch it in the calculator. Okay, so not too bad, right? So we get the idea that supplementary is a straight angle and the sum of the angles is 180. A right angle is 90 degrees and the two angles that are complementary add up to be 90 degrees. So now we look at something like this, which is so crazy because it has this whole XY Cartesian coordinate plane that we remember, but let's not look at it like that. Let's look at it as a bunch of like rays and lines and angles, right? Let's not look at things anymore like algebra because we are over that. <laughs> and so now we want to look at things like how we're going to use them in our life. So right now I do see some some interesting information. So it says given the diagram below, um, provide the following information. Note that measure TOS is a right angle, and what are the angles that are supplementary or complementary to POT? Find the measure of all missing angles. So because this cuts out right here as a right angle, we see that this is also right angles, which means that all of them essentially are right angles. This is going to be right and this is going to be a right. So um, if, we, oops, if we look at here, we see that POT is 22 degrees, so we can find ROP. Notice everyone shares the common vertex of the origin O. So we're going to go ahead and have to denote by these using these letters very carefully. So the first thing is let's go ahead and just make a list of all the right angles. So let's do the measure of angle ROQ, which is this one here, right? That's going to be 90 degrees. Um, the measure of angle ROT is also 90 degrees and TOS was given to us so we don't have to do write that but then we can do SOQ which is also 90 degrees okay so the next part now is we do know POT that measures 22 so that means um, let's have some fun here this means since ROT is 90 degrees and this is 22 if we just do some subtraction in our calculator and say okay well 90 minus 22 has to be 68 because remember these two angles here this one and this one they have to add up to equal 90 right so if I take 90 and subtract that 22 I get 68 degrees so now I know the measure of angle ROP is 68 degrees. Okay, so this is now where it gets fun. Because we're not in a geometry class, so we don't want to like get too much into like geometry and do a lot. We just want to kind of touch it. So we're going to have some fun here. So the next thing would be is finding out these angles in its quadrant one, two, three, right? In this one where it's SOQ. Um, notice there's no angles in these. So we're actually done with this 
this and this and all we have left are these two other angles so I'll put measure SON and measure um, NOQ so the nice thing about um, angles is that they have a lot of nice properties alternate um, alternating angles are equivalent and alternating angles means that you have this angle here and if you have a alternate angle here that's also going to be 68 degrees so you just look at this little vertex here and whatever is directly opposite side it has the same degrees so here we have oops, 68 degrees so essentially when you have an X this angle is this angle is equivalent to this angle and this angle is equivalent to that angle they're the same that's the nice thing about alternate angles and then if we use that apply that idea to this POT which is 22 degrees notice this X is here so that means this angle and this angle are going to be equal so NOQ has to be 22 degrees and then notice that these two add up to be 90 degrees like we assume all right so this is 68 degrees and this is 22 degrees so we use like the idea these ideas from how angles look for for something like this but we can easily just use um, the properties of angles like opposite angles are equivalent or interior angles are equal corresponding angle a bunch of stuff, supplementary angles add up to 180 so we have a lot of properties with angles but just aesthetically like just looking at this I could see that this was 68 because that one was right like we we can actually just the nice thing about angles is very aesthetic we look at it and we know